This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. We have the questions that Ann Taylor was asking 400 potential jurors in Moscow, Idaho. And I'm really curious to get Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author's opinion on this. That was kind of how we ended our conversation last week on this is what are the questions and what kind of impact could they have on the potential jurors? Now that you've seen uh, the list of nine questions, uh, give me your reactions. I mean, they kind of go all over the board here on the case. Well, the the first thought that I had was, as we had discussed previously, if you didn't know about one of these topics and you got this question, the first thing you would do would be, oh, well, this is interesting. Was there DNA on the knife sheath? Let me go look online. Let me Google that mm -hmm. and see what I come up with here. So I, I think it would serve to spur curiosity rather than just be this entirely objective query, do you know about this? Do you not know about this? Mm -hmm. So it it's going to get people thinking and get people exploring more. And then the other thing that was interesting to me is that out of the um, nine questions, seven of them were considered to be, you know, factually information that had been in the official public domain. Mm -hmm. But there were two questions who that were considered fictional. And the one that hit me was reading this list of questions was, um, did you know about Koberger stalking mm -hmm. the victims, yeah. stalking one of the victims? Well, I hadn't heard about that. Yeah. So I immediately went to, oh, well, there's something that happened that I didn't know. And so that would have certainly influenced me to believe that that was fact-based because it was mixed in with all the other questions that were fact-based. Yeah. So it seemed to me, it, you know, just putting myself in the position of a person who might have gotten this survey that I would have been, these things would have been suggested to me, and therefore it would have counted as biased. Which is bizarre that, that we had all these fact-based questions that were in there that one can look up. The other ones, yeah, you're, you're right. There, there's no factual basis for the stalking. That had been a rumor that had been just kind of people speculating right. over the uh, the past couple of years about that. Um, but again, not fact-based. So, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I mean, this is all, the whole thing is a big psychological play. Obviously, her goal is to get this trial moved out of out of Moscow, Idaho. Um, by intermingling these things in here that are not fact based, was she really just trying to paint him as I mean, was her intent to taint the jury pool? Was it to to really go in there and see, see, they 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 don't understand the difference between fact and fiction? Do you think that was the, the goal here? Well, it, it certainly would have given the impression, if if this was the agenda, I don't know, but yeah. it would have given the impression that you can't get a non-biased jury here. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, 97% of the people surveyed out of you know their 400 were all familiar with most mm -hmm. of this information. I believe knew at least five of the nine points that were indicated there. And of course, then we go back to, well, are you going to find a jury anywhere, a, yeah. a pool of jurors who's not going to be familiar with this? Certainly over here in Oregon, we're familiar with all of this, yeah. you know, and yeah. I'm sure where you're at, yeah. everybody's familiar with it. It's been everywhere. So it it does seem, you know, that if there was the intent to show bias, it would have shown bias. Is this something, I mean, I guess, was she successful? I mean, the, obviously the judge was very upset by the whole thing. He has yet to make a, an official ruling on if the trial will take place in Moscow or if maybe they'll bring jurors in from another county or something. But I, I, I don't know. I'd be curious if he did this survey another county over or even like anywhere, anywhere in the general United States, uh, if you would get the same sort of answers to these questions, that it would really make that much of a difference. Yeah, and I think that's the only way you could really be objective with this is to be able to show that, oh, well, the jurors in another location answered very differently and weren't familiar with all of this material. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I don't see that that's going to happen. It's uh, it, it's an interesting play. Do you, uh, do you think she was successful at this? I mean, it, it's a weird thing because 
you, you can't go taint your own jury pool and then go, hey, we need to move it somewhere else. But was she truly tainting it or was this, you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. she's just really mm -hmm. trying to make a point here that maybe a lot of people weren't seeing. Yeah, I, I can understand the reason for hoping to get any advantage that they can possibly get at this point with this case. And, you know, it would not surprise me that the the um, the trial would be moved. It would make perfect sense. Um, you're maybe going to get a little bit of an advantage in another community. Um, people might be a little less emotionally reactive when it's not where they live. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, ultimately, is it going to make any big difference? Is it going to matter? I, yeah. I don't really anticipate that it would. Yeah. I also wonder if this is is designed to set up an appellate issue after the fact as well. If he is found guilty of like, look, we already showed you, here's our data. This shows us that that it was biased. The judge didn't change anything. Uh, we think he should be getting another trial if this is part of the long game, assuming that he will be convicted once the trial actually does take place. Yeah, they're definitely looking at strategy here. So yeah. it that would make sense. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.